So in our last lesson, um, we talked about um, the focus was um, love it or hate it. So we talked a little bit about negative verb forms and negative uh, phrases. Um, so you can use these expressions we talked about yesterday to talk about things you like or things you, you don't really like. And in this, in this exercise, in exercise number one, we learned how to say, I like and I hate in many different ways. So you don't have to only say, I like or I hate. There are so many different ways to say it. So you can say, for example, traffic jams drive me crazy. I can't bear traffic jams. Uh, you can say, I don't mind waking up early. I really enjoy going to work. I'm not very interested in uh, swimming, for example. So all of these are very useful expressions to talk about what you like and what you dislike. And we also read uh, what four people think. Michael, Corinne, uh, sorry, Corinne, Corinne, uh, Marcella, and Hassan. We learned what they like, what they dislike. Uh, Michael hates phoning call centers. Uh, Corin likes uh, reality TV shows. She quite, uh, she loves them. She thinks they're very interesting. She thinks they're- Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Hello Najat, how are you today? Um, good, alhamdulillah. That's good. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. Hello Hajar, how are you today? Fine, alhamdulillah. Yeah, good. So here we're just having a quick, a quick, uh, a quick revision uh, about this, the, the parts that we covered in our last lesson. Um, we're talking about the, the four people here we have and the, the things they talked about. So uh, Hassan, he talked about flying, which he loves very much. So he talked about flying, how much he loves it, why it's so great. Um, Marcella talked about commuting. She said why she hates commuting, she talked about some of the problems. And like I said, Corinne, or Corin, I think her name is Corin, she talked about reality TV shows. So we uh, read this and we also answered the questions about it. And after that, we learned how to use some expressions in, uh, instead of saying there isn't and there aren't, you could just say there are no, there are no traffic jams um, or there is no better way to travel. Um, so these are different ways to use, uh, to talk about the negative without saying aren't and isn't. And this is what Hassan did when he talked about flying. So he said there are no traffic jams. He didn't say there aren't any traffic jams. He said there are no traffic jams, which is the same. There are no traffic jams. And then he also said, there's no better way to travel. So of course, these are different ways of talking about the same thing, really. So this is what we did in our last lesson. So we finished all of this. We also did the, the, the grammar review. We checked the summary in the book, in the back of the book. And now we want to do number six. So we want to change these uh, sentences into negative. Uh, and after that, we can listen to the answers. It says there, there is more than one possible answer. Um, but let's, let's take a look at these. Let's start with the first one. I often visit my grandmother. I don't often visit my grandmother. So we just want to change them into negative. Who would like to do number two? Who can change it? Sana? Me. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. No when my family likes them. Uh, again? No, no one in my family likes them. Right. No one in my family likes tennis. All right. Mm -hmm. That's that's good. Uh, Najat, would you like to do number three? My mom. Let Mm. 
Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> uh, I try to remember the rule. <laughs> don't don't try to remember the rule. Say the first thing you can think of. Negative. My mom isn't lost. Okay, let's let's see someone else. Malak, what do you think? <laughs> There isn't uh, any word to to change it. <laughs> I think my mom is uh, didn't lose her mobile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. What do you think, Hajar? My huh? mom doesn't lost her mobile. Mm, let's see, Sana. <laughs> Sana. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, my mom. I think this is uh, has. I think it. Yes, it's has. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. My mama has not lost her mobile. Correct. And if we put has and not together. Mm -hmm. Hasn't. Hasn't. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. It's actually this is present perfect. This is present yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom hasn't lost her mobile. She hasn't lost her mobile. All right, nice. Now number four. Let's let's go back and do the circle again. Mm -hmm. Najat, number four. Oh, or Sana. Yes, we started with Sana. Sana, you can do number four. Okay, I can. Uh, yeah, but Sana, you already answered number three. So let's go to okay. Najat because you answered number three, uh, Sana, correctly. Okay. <laughs> All right, Najat, you can do number four. Uh, I think I want to buy a new phone. Mm, okay. Remember, there are two. I I don't think uh, yeah. I'll buy a new phone. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's the rule we read in the in the summary, right? Remember? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I just want... started. To... Okay. Yeah, the memory came back, like in Mexican uh, soap because operas. I, everybody I, everybody's losing I'm their still, memory. Uh, I still have a fever. Yeah, remember in, in Mexican series, everybody has amnesia. Everybody f uh, lost their memory. So you're having something similar, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll buy, but correct. Your answer is correct. I don't think mm -hmm. I'll buy a new phone. All right, now it's all right. Now let's move to Malak, number five. Um. There is a doctor in the village. There isn't a doctor in the village. Yes, very good. This is the negative of, of verb to be correct. We can say there is no doctor. Correct. Very good. Mm -hmm. This is another yeah. way of yeah. saying it. There is no doctor mm -hmm. in the village. Yeah. There is no doctor. There isn't a doctor. Correct. You can also say there aren't any doctors if you want to make it plural. But here it's singular, but even if you want to make it into plural, the meaning is the same. There are no doctors. There aren't any doctors. There isn't a doctor. All of them are all right, I think. Okay, Hajar, number six. Uh, none of my friends have got cars. Right. Yes. Yes, none of my friends have got cars. Okay. Can we do it in another way? Of my friends haven't got, haven't got. Yes. Haven't got. Yeah. I think that's also correct, right? All of my <laughs> yeah. friends haven't got cars. None of my, but I like none of my friends have got cars. It sounds a little better with none, right? Mm. Maybe a little lighter. I don't know. Okay, let's uh, now. So now you can do number seven. Yes. Uh, both uh, of my brothers like cooking. Uh, I think uh, neither of my brothers like cooking. Correct. Yeah. Um, okay, can you say it again? Um, neither of my brother like cooking. Mm, again? <laughs> uh, there is a... <laughs> because I think neither is a positive of the... negative of the pot. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah? Yes. No, it's correct I what you said. We, like add, uh, we add like. Yes, cooking. There's something mm. that happens to like. As a, sim, as a single. 
Yeah. Dislike. Like is good. Ah, this is another way, Hajar. Both of my brothers yeah. dislike. Dislike. But, uh, but but even even the one that Sana said is also correct. But uh, she, there's just a little grammatical thing she needs to fix. I think. Can you say it again? Uh, what's what's the wrong on my sentence? Okay, say it again. I'll tell you. Okay, neither of my brother brothers like cooking. I think you have to say likes. Neither of my brothers likes cooking. Likes. Yeah. Why? Because brothers, I think brothers, mm. I think two. Yeah, mm. but the rule says that neither it makes uh, the verb. We all forgot the rule. Yeah, the, I, I think I think the rule. Let me quickly go to one thirty. One thirty very quickly. Uh, let me show you how you use neither. Okay. Okay. So when you use neither. 128, 128, 128, it's this. Yes, here it is. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, uh, here it is. Let me box it. Can you read this uh, point, please, uh, Sana? Uh, which, okay. We use plural verb forms with both. Both of my sisters have good cars. Mm. We use singular verb forms with neither. Uh, neither of them likes driving. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. So you need you need neither. to you need yeah. to treat uh, neither like like it's he or she. Treat it like a yeah. singular uh, like a singular pronoun. The verb yes. has to has to be in singular. This is this yes. is the point. But the rest is correct. Neither of them, neither of my brothers likes. Uh, it sounds a little weird, but it's this is the rule. Okay, yes. so let's go back. We're not here yet. No. This is a nice article. Uh, all right, so we are here. Uh, also, the one that Taja said about dislike is also nice. Both my brothers mm. dislike cooking, so she just mm, mm -hmm. changed the verb into out into its opposite. All right. Now. I think even uh, don't like cooking. Both of my brothers don't like cooking. Correct. This is another way. Just yeah. use uh, just use the negative of present simple. Both of my brothers yeah. don't like cooking. Also, another correct yeah. way. Yeah. Okay. All right, number eight. Whose turn is it now? I think me. it's no, maybe me. I think Malak, not you, Nelat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is a, there is a no milk in the fridge. Right. And we can say there isn't oh, any milk there isn't in the fridge. Uh, any milk in the fridge. Also, mm -hmm. also correct. Mm -hmm. um, all right. I think both are correct. Now, let's just listen to confirm this. Let's check the listening track. Let me take you to the listening track so we can see. So we want CD1 track three. Where is it? Here it is. I don't often visit my grandmother. No one in my family likes tennis. My mum hasn't lost her mobile. I don't think I'll buy a new phone. There's no doctor in the village. None of my friends have got cars. Neither of my brothers likes cooking. There's no milk in the fridge. All right, so all of the answers are, all of your answers are correct. That's great. 
Now, let's listen one more time, and I'd like you to practice as well, just so we can get used to this. So let's listen. Track and, three. And practice. I don't often visit my grandmother. I don't often. I don't visit often visit my, my, my grandmother. No one in my family likes tennis. No one in, no my, one in my family likes tennis. My mum hasn't lost her mobile. My mum hasn't has lost my lost her mobile. Her. Right. It's okay, you can, you can speak at the same time. Uh, imagine this is a classroom and imagine there are, uh, there are 30 of you, not five. So it's okay, because in these exercises, what's important is for you to, to say it as close mm. as you can hear it. I think this is the real focus because all of you know the rules here. It's not new, but it's just a chance to, to practice the pronunciation. So if, if you need to, you can talk at the same time, don't worry. Okay. I don't think I'll buy a new phone. I don't think I don't think, think I'll, buy I'll, buy I'll buy a new phone. Mm -hmm. There's no doctor in the village. There is There's no doctor, no doctor, in, doctor in the village. village. None of my friends have got cars. None of my brothers likes cooking. Neither, Neither of my, of my likes, likes cooking. cooking. Yeah, it's very important, the, the S with likes. Mm -hmm. Neither of my brothers likes. Likes. Mm -hmm. No milk in the fridge. There's no, no milk in the fridge. Excellent, that's nice. All right, so we finished this uh, negative exercise, how to make, um, how to turn these sentences into negative. We did it, we listened to it. <coughs> um, excuse me. <coughs> okay, and uh, here, let's check number eight. Write four sentences. Hmm. Okay, this is kind of nice. All right, so here I'd like you to, um, but we also, I think we did it. We did, yes. Yeah, yeah we did it. Mm. Yeah, because it's almost the same as this exercise, right? We did yes, it in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's, I think it's kind of clear. Let, let's leave it. I really enjoy watching old films. Yeah, me too. Was, was. So it's kind of repeated, I think. We can move on. Mm. All right, now, in, uh, in this lesson, join the club. So here, it's a, this is an interesting lesson. We'll talk about adjectives. And all of these adjectives, they talk about feelings. In, in particular, they, they discuss feelings, mainly. And uh, we'll also see an example of an informal conversation. So it's like a day, an everyday kind of conversation, not formal, it's informal. We'll also practice a few tips, some of the things they do, the natives do when they have conversations. Um, so we'll listen to that. But first of all, let's start with uh, the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Um, so here in number one, we have some feelings. All right, so <clears throat> let's check all of these words. And if there's a new word, maybe you can talk about it. I don't think there is, but let's, uh, let's take a look. Um, okay, let's uh, have someone read them. Mm, okay, so let's, let's divide them into three into three groups and we can read them together. All right, so Malaki can read the first sentence, Hajar can read the next one, and maybe Sana can read the last one. Okay. Okay. Relaxed, nervous, 
placed, embarrassed, angry, annoyed. Okay. Um, next group. Fed, yeah. Fed up, disappointed, stressed, calm, upset, scared. Mm, okay. And the last group. Okay. Uh, satisfied, confused, shocked, glad, concerned, depressed. Okay. Um, all right. I'm just going to mark a few words. All right. Um, okay. Malak, can you read the, this word again, please? Okay. Uh, um, upset. No, no. The, the... Uh, embarrassed. Ah, okay. Embarrassed. Sorry. No, the upset, first one. Uh -huh. Lola, the one, the one you read it in Mara Lola. Embarrassed. Uh, okay, but but this time, can you imagine there's no e? Uh, embarrassed. Embarrassed. Nice. That's good. Excellent. That's okay. good. And uh, Hazard, can you read the, the word here in the box? Upset. Nice. This is better. Uh, the first time, how did the first time you read it? How did you read it? Upset, maybe. Uh, you didn't know. Oh. Okay. Can can you can you put more stress on the second syllable? More stress on the okay. second syllable. Upset. Make the first one shorter. Okay, upset. That's it. Upset. Yeah. So upset. usually usually in English, uh, syllables which are not stressed, read them faster. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, unstressed syllables or or unstressed mm -hmm. If it's if you want yeah. to stress it, read it a little slower. If you if you don't want to stress it, read it quicker, faster. All right, very good, Hydra, that's correct. Okay, same thing for you, Sena. Uh, these words, can okay. you read them? Can you read them without the E? Shocked. Good, good. Depressed. Uh, nice, <laughs> excellent. So, shocked, okay. depressed, that's it, good. All right, very nice. So the pronunciation is correct. Now, what about the meaning? Are there any, are there any words here which are new? Or do you know all of them? Is, is any word not clear? I think all of them are clear, right? Yeah. Yeah. OK, good, good. So because all of these are clear, I want you to make a few sentences, OK? So each one of you, I'd like you to think of maybe let's let's choose only five. And I want you to talk about the last time you felt this way, or maybe the thing that made you feel this way. So for example, if I want to talk to talk about one of these words, I can say, um, last time I visited my friend, I had to use the, the highway and I felt very angry because there was a traffic jam and when we passed the traffic jam, it was just uh, a driver changing his tire. But we had to wait in, in line for almost 45 minutes and I felt very angry. For example, this is just an example talking about a situation or talking about one time where I felt angry and the reason why I felt angry. So here I want you to do the same thing. Um, I'll give you five minutes four or five minutes, okay? So you can collect your ideas. If you want, if you have a pen and paper, you can write a few, you don't have to write the whole sentence, of course, just uh, highlights, maybe that will help you when you talk about the situation that made you feel this way. Remember, all of it is in the past. So this is a past simple, past simple exercise. 
Do you get the idea? You're not going to talk about how you feel in general or what are the things that make you feel this way in general, because this will be present simple, right? You can say, I usually feel angry when my friend is late. This is present simple, but we don't want present simple. We want the situation in the past. Like this example, let me show you. Here, the one that we have here. I felt quite stressed last week because I had to go for a job interview, for example. So here you can see that they used last week because it's past simple and it gives a specific time in the past. And they also use the verb feel in the past, felt. Do you understand the exercise? Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So t take, take four or five minutes. Remember, we need five adjectives for each one of you. So I'm going to start the timer. I'm going to think of chocolate and you can <laughs> think of your adjectives. And after five minutes, we can, you can tell me how you felt. When did you feel these feelings? All right. And if one of you is ready, you can say, I'm ready and we can start. Can I start, but help me? Uh, okay. In one sentence. <laughs> Just one? We yes, to all uh, five. Is to, uh, when I started uh, studying uh, English two months ago, I felt a bit embarrassed and uh, uh, unstressed. Mm -hmm, good. And uh, I am... Um, uh, I'm confused. Okay. Uh, but now um, I'm easy to fed up. Uh -huh. yeah, I have I had to sit for two hours and, um, and now nowadays I feel more relaxed and. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, this and is a good. So uh, continue. Can you yeah. help me. <laughs> I'm helping you. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm uh, pleased uh, to know a lot of uh, a new friends. Uh, that's nice. But but you just reminded me uh, because I don't understand. I'm satisfied. Uh, okay, that's a, that's good to hear that you're satisfied now. Uh, but for me, the question is... Uh, I was worried all the time. You, uh, you used to worry all the time or I worried all the time. Yes. Mm, okay. Um, I have, I, I always concerned about, uh, uh, um, I will speak, will, I will speak fluently, I ask uh, the same question all the time. Mm -hmm. But now uh, you have not said the, the change. Yeah. No, I, I think from the beginning you, you weren't, you weren't bad, but uh, like you described yourself, you were a bit, uh, I think nervous may be um, a yes. little a little frustrated. All the negative, uh, and negative emotions. Emotions, yes. Yeah, but I think, do you know why? Uh, this is my uh, analysis, I think, because you're, you're a bit of a perfectionist and being a perfectionist in English, in languages in general, is not a good thing because yes. you'll, be, you'll be focused too much on accuracy, on being correct. And this will prevent you from, from making mistakes. And in languages, yes, you have no, to... No, I don't care. Uh, exactly. I don't mind. I did mistakes and uh, I'm ready. Yeah, I it doesn't... Anyway. Exactly. That's the point. Yeah, you shouldn't care. Uh, even even if you, when you go to, by the way, even when you travel to, to London, to, to the UK, to Canada, to the US, this is, this, you should keep this the same mindset and in any language, not just English. Do your best, learn whatever level you reach and then just speak. If they understand, mm -hmm. that's good. If they don't, maybe try to say it again until they understand. If it's right mm -hmm. or wrong, who cares? It's not, life is not an exam, right? As long yeah. as there's communication. Yeah, I stand with the, uh, excuse me, I cut uh, you. No, no, no. Um, mm -hmm. 
uh, I changed all of this um, concerns. Yeah, I think that that and showed. Yeah. Things. Yes. Mm, that's that's great. That's good. Good to hear. That's excellent. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. All right, that's that's a nice. Uh, that's a nice. Uh, let's call it a paragraph or introduction uh, from Najat. Let's hear someone else talk about these feedings. Okay, I'm finished. I'm All finished. right, Malak, tell us, tell us uh, about last time. <laughs> and um, it, it doesn't have to be one story like Najat. It could be different situations. It could be the same situation. Both, both, both are accepted. Both are correct. Okay. Um, I have two sentences. Um, I felt quite stressed last week because I had to teach my kids for exams, for final exam. Okay. Another sentence, I felt uh, uh, quite scared uh, last week because I had to wait uh, for uh, my husband's results about Corona, but uh, now I'm glad uh, to hear uh, a negative uh, Result. Mm, congratulations, that's good news. Mm -hmm. Yes, alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have two sentences ready, but these are nice sentences, these are good. Can you think of another three? Um, what? Can you think another, of uh, another three sentences or two? Let's say uh, two. Think of okay. two. I'll give you some time and we can hear while you're preparing your sentences, we can listen to mm -hmm. Sana or Hajar. All right. Okay. 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 Sana, yes, tell us. Yes. Okay. Uh, last month, I went to the sea and I feel relaxed and calm. But uh, in the beginning, uh, the room I booked uh, was dirty. In that time, I felt annoyed. Yeah, very nice. Excellent. Now, in the beginning, can you change? Uh, Instead of the sea, can you use yeah. the beach? The beach. Oh, oh okay. Beach. Mm -hmm. and, and can you say it again? Yeah. All, all the whole story? Yeah. Last month, I went to the, sea, uh, to the beach and I felt relaxed and calm. But in the beginning, the room I booked was dirty. In that time, I felt annoyed. Oh, nice. That's, that's a nice story. Good. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. Let's... Hajir, would you like to tell us a few uh, events or situations where you felt okay. some of these feelings? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just right. Two sentences for now. All right. Okay. Um, I felt fed up last week because there were a traffic jam. Um, the second one is, um, I felt very upset last, last year because, uh, I didn't pass the exam. Mm -hmm. All right. These are good sentences. The first one, um, about the traffic jam. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just write it. Uh, you said I felt fed up, right? I think. Yes. Because yeah. there. There were. Mm, but how? Yeah. But how many traffic jams are there? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So what should you say? There was. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, it's okay. <laughs> if, if you okay. say if you say that uh, there was lots of mm. even if you say traffic, mm -hmm. even if you don't use jam, even if you say there was a traffic, there was lots of traffic. You have to use was because yeah, yeah. traffic is uncountable. Uncountable, uh, yeah. And here it's countable singular. One traffic jam. There was mm -hmm. because there was a traffic jam. All right, the second example. Um, mm -hmm. let's go back to Malak. Have you finished your examples, your other yeah. sentences? Mm -hmm. Yes. Last year I felt relaxed because I had to invest uh, for many beautiful places. 
uh, you felt relaxed because you? Uh, I had to travel, so for travel, uh, for money, uh, beautiful places. Okay. Okay, okay mm -hmm. let's first of all start with, uh, can you read this without the E? Without? Without the letter E, ignore the letter E here. Where for which uh, letter, which in the, one? In the first okay. uh, word in the box. Okay, relaxed. Yeah, that's it, nice. Okay. And and then <clears throat> then you said when I had to travel, right? Uh, because I had to travel, yes, for uh, many beautiful places to but, visit it, not visit it to best. But uh, okay, now when 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 someone says I had to travel, is it is it an option or is it a, a necessity? Mm, option. Maybe. Mm. Necessity. Oh, yes, it's necessity. I had to. Yes. And in reality, did you did you have to travel? Was it was it urgent? Yeah. I mean, um, was yes, it was it I vacation have... or was it treatment? For example. Uh, no a vacation. Yeah. Okay. Usually, in in on vacations, do people have to travel? No. Right. So, so here, this is, this sounds like someone, maybe your husband kidnapped you. He put you in a bag and he took you, <laughs> he took you to Turkey, <laughs> right? You are going to travel. It's an order. This is how it sounds when I had to, because it sounds like you were forced. Right. So maybe, maybe, Robin, are grammatically correct everything you said. It's just the meaning that uh, is a little strange because uh, had to, uh, he had passed off have to, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe if you just use, uh, uh, use traveled to many, to many beautiful places, right? I felt relaxed because I traveled, past simple Latin, because I traveled many beautiful places i felt relaxed because i traveled to many okay. beautiful this is nice this is a good sentence I felt relaxed because i traveled to many beautiful places or when i traveled uh, felt relaxed when i traveled or because i traveled both of them are okay but uh, let's say can suffer maybe there was a, maybe your maybe a family member had an operation, or maybe uh, you know maybe something mm, that was a necessity. So you can say you can say uh, I felt relaxed uh, last year, uh, even though even though well, even though although did we study that? Did we study these, Malak? Even though, although? Um, no. No, we no. didn't study them. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, uh, in intermediate. These are, uh, they call these contrast. Uh, contrast, uh, it's like... Uh, uh, they, they call them contrast. These are very important in writing, especially formal writing, academic writing. So you can say, although, although Libya has uh, great beaches, it's difficult to go to the beach because of security, yes. because there aren't great good facilities, you know, because of these problems. Mm -hmm. So even though we have it's difficult to go a lot to the beach. And yes. also, also they're not cheap. Sea resorts and rooms, you know, and hotels are quite expensive. So, yes. uh, so you can say like something like, even though I had to travel last year, even though I had to travel last year, 
I felt relaxed because I visited many beautiful places. يعني بدأت القصة أنت بالاضطرار إنه ما كانش في في الخطة السفر كنت مضطرة للسفر ولكن أصبح الموضوع it became nice. It be, you felt relaxed after that because you had the chance to travel or to see many beautiful places. But the easiest one is the first one, other than the story of the I felt relaxed because I traveled to many beautiful to many places. To many beautiful places. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is a, also a nice example. Okay, any, any last examples before we move on? Yes, Would you like to add? I have yes. Okay, let's listen to Malak's last one, and then we'll listen to Sana and Hajar and maybe Najat. Go ahead, Malak. Last month, I uh, felt uh, disappointed uh, because of Corona, and uh, I uh, uh, because I want to uh, because I couldn't went to my parents. Good because I couldn't. Uh, when to my parents Can you or change? because I couldn't go? Yes, correct. Yeah. 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 Correct, because I couldn't go to my parents. Also a good sentence. I felt disappointed because I couldn't go to my parents. All right, okay. Mm. <coughs> I think uh, Sana or Hajar, who had the... the okay. Uh, Yes, okay, I, I have uh, I have sentence, but I think I don't think it's maybe there is something wrong. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Last meeting in my job, I feel disappointed when my manager asked me a question. I couldn't answer it. Mm, that's a good example. That's nice. Okay. Just just remove it in the end. Ah, uh, okay. Can you say it again? Okay, last meeting in my job, I felt disappointed when my manager asked me a question I couldn't answer. Mm, nice, that's good, okay. it's a good sentence. Okay. All right, great. Um, maybe uh, Hajar, would you like to add? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, last week, I felt satisfied about myself because I made my mom glad of me. Mm, okay. Um, I made my mom glad. Okay, because I, I made my mom glad. Mm, that's mm. a good. Or in this in this example, because it's a nice example, I think the best adjective to use uh, is proud. I felt satisfied because I made my mom proud of me. Right? Yeah. 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 Maybe this is the the best one. Because yeah. maybe you, d- you did something yeah, good. Yeah, I know, but but uh, you said you just uh, say the words in the book. So yeah, I but use. correct. But there's also something called uh, um, it's like do you remember collocation in verbs? For example, have coffee, have tea instead of drink coffee, yeah. drink tea. So it's it's a, it's an the idea is some words fit. Because it's like uh, some some adjectives and languages in general, they're a bit like uh, puzzles. So some pieces fit better than others. So in your example, uh, proud of me, it sounds a lot, a lot better than glad of me. Or uh, because she felt glad. Usually glad, we usually use it for ourselves. I felt mm-hmm. glad that something happened or didn't happen. So, but it's a good example, it's nice. All right, so you can see that uh, these adjectives are very interesting. You can use them in, in many different ways. Um, and you can talk about how you felt in a certain situation. So you can use them in more than dif- one different way. Now, let's continue. We have a little bit of listening to do here. So we're going to talk about uh, clubs. Here, of course, we're talking about school clubs. Do you know what, who knows what a school club is? Do you know what the school club is? Yes, uh, uh, especially here in Libya in the summer time, mm-hmm. I think some uh, some uh, private school do like a club for swimming and for uh, play, maybe uh, 
uh, uh -huh. music and mm -hmm. uh, something like that. Correct. That's correct. But mm -hmm. usually in uh, in schools abroad, this is even in during the year. It's not only in the summer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because usually they have, uh, they sometimes call them extracurricular activities. Let me mm. write it. So curricular, it comes from cu curriculum. So do you know this word, extracurricular activities? Curricular, curricular activities. Activities. So extracurricular activities, it means things that are not in the book, not in the mm. exam, uh, you know, for example, dancing club, chess club, judo, maybe, maybe they, some schools have a gym or weightlifting club, uh, mm. you know, these, these activities, which are not part of the, 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 the subjects that they study in, in their books. This is, this is the meaning of mm -hmm. All right, so this is what we're going to talk about in this exercise. And we're going to start with the first question. It says here, have you, or maybe people you know, ever been a member of a club? Who has been a member of a club in school or maybe in university? Did, has anybody joined a club? And I think even here in Tripoli University, I remember when I used to study, there, were, there was a club for uh, chess, music, table tennis and uh, yeah. this is in medicine and uh, art. Uh, art. art there in some universities yeah. there, there is art i don't remember mm -hmm. in medicine there was art and there was uh, yeah. there was also uh, what do you call it billiards uh, but for girls mm -hmm. i don't know because this was for boys but i don't know the girls club what they what they had but okay, tell us, uh, Hajar, what about you? Were you a member of a of a club in school or in university? No. No. Did, did you know? Did yeah. you know anybody who was a member of a of a club, maybe yeah. art club? Okay. Yeah, my friends is uh, an art club, mm -hmm. and um, also my um, my uh, niece. Uh -huh. My nephew, excuse me, yeah. it's in a poker club in her in his school. Mm. Mm -hmm. Th that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, anyone else? Maybe Najat, Malak, Sana. Do you know anybody who's in? Uh, a... Yes. Uh, my brother, my uh, uh, older, older, older brother, or oldest brother. I think. I, I can say older. Uh, older brother. Uh, joined, uh, uh, if you know, Dahra uh, uh, Club to uh, play football. Ah, um, mm -hmm. y okay, but that's that's a football club. Eh, yeah. Y but that's not a but school I, club. Ah, uh, no, no, not a school club. For me, I don't join any uh, club uh, in the school or uh, in university. Uh, okay, but actually, mm -hmm. this is a good example—the one about a football club in the city. Yeah. Because in mm -hmm. question, in question number two, this is what it asks about. Question number two, it says, "What kinds mm -hmm. of clubs are are popular in your schools, university, or city?" I think in Libya, football clubs are mm -hmm. are quite popular. There's uh, Nadi Dara. There's also mm -hmm. the other one in uh, in Amr Mukhtar. I it's think it's uh, it's the only club in <laughs> in the city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's also there's also Nadi Shabab in Ben Ashur for basketball. Yeah, yeah. there are a lot. I think uh, Tihad and Ahli club. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and uh, Medina and, club. And, uh, Medina also. Yeah. Yes. But I all of them are yeah. football, right? Most of them are football. football. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I think in the Dahra club, even there is uh, chess and uh, table uh, tennis. And yes. Uh, no, I don't know table tennis, but I know there is a chess and there uh, uh, basketball uh -huh. and yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember uh, in Dahra club, not Dahra, mm -hmm. uh, Shabab in Benashur, they used to have basketball and they used to have uh, billiards upstairs, pool. Yeah. You can play, mm -hmm. but but you didn't have to be a member to play in pool, but you had to be a member to play basketball, but for pool. 
you just pay and play and you know you leave you don't you didn't have to yeah. be a member of the club oh, all right so we i think we also answered number two i think the most popular ones are maybe football and chess i think especially yes. in, if we're talking about the uh, university or the city maybe in school we also have other like uh, has said the book clubs we have mm -hmm. book clubs we have uh, art clubs usually in schools um, but the question is, what do people do? Let's talk about uh, school clubs. What, what do you think people do in school clubs? What do you think, Malak? Um, maybe play or uh, music. Uh, uh, some, uh, yes, yeah, music and uh, maybe drawing something. Mm -hmm. or uh, do funny things you mean like uh, like theater or acting or something like yes. this yeah yeah mm -hmm. i remember uh maybe some singing maybe singing also mm -hmm. i remember our uh... no it wasn't here no that was in the uk uh, yes, usually they in clubs, uh, members of the club, they usually they can practice their, you know, their hobbies or the things they like together and they can get better and maybe they can make shows together for the school, right? Maybe they can play music for the school mm -hmm. when there is a special occasion or maybe when there are guests from from other clubs, sometimes they have competitions. Of course, this is, I think, yeah. maybe more abroad. I don't know if they do it now here in Libya. But uh, who knows? Uh, who knows Taqadim school in Benashur? Yeah, we yeah. know uh, this school. But, uh, who studied yeah. there? Is there anybody who studied there? No. 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 Yeah, I used to study there, and uh, the school had lots of activities. They always had competitions. They had theater club. They had chess club. They have. They had curricular competitions. You know, they had mm. the the, yeah. the the headmaster. She used to like these things. They also had a music club. Anyways, mm. what do you think? What do you think are the advantages and disadvantages of being in a club? Any club, school club, university club, or city club. What are the disadvantages and the advantages? The advantages make you feel more comfortable about yourself. Mm -hmm. Building confidence. Yeah, I think that's yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. Um, this is important. What are, what other advantages can you think of, Hajj? Mm. Um. What what about social advantages, Hajj? Yeah, yeah. It made you um, uh, more confident about to, uh, in talking with people from. Mm -hmm. Of people, don't, maybe we uh, they don't feel shy when talking with the uh, people. Maybe correct, yeah, less shy, more confident. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, what about meeting new people and making new friends? Right. If you if you're a member yeah. of a club, it means you will always meet people who have the same hobbies, and this is yeah. this makes. Uh, making new friends or being friends, it makes it easier, right? Yes. Okay. What about the disadvantages? Who can think of disadvantages? What do you think, Najat? Can you think of any disadvantages of being a member of a club? Maybe sometimes, especially when they're, uh, uh, you, you, in the, maybe in uh, study time, you will lost maybe time in the club and don't uh, focus in your uh, uh, study. This is maybe this at this advantage, and okay. or yeah. or you couldn't uh, uh, balance between the club and your study. This is maybe true because being a member of a club it means mm -hmm. especially especially in clubs uh, abroad because here in libya yeah. we don't we don't really have real clubs yeah. to be honest yeah. but yeah, ab yeah. but abroad in real in real yeah. clubs university uh, or in, in school you also have responsibilities yeah. you have to be on time you have to be there you can't be absent you have to pay 
many, many mm. clubs. Maybe in school and university, maybe not, but in city clubs, mm. you have to pay. And uh, mm. some of them are expensive, they're not cheap. Like, uh, country, you know country clubs? Have you heard of country clubs? In, in Europe and the US, they have something called country clubs. So country clubs are like uh, very exclusive clubs that usually rich people, only rich people can afford because they're very, very expensive to get a membership. And even if you have money, you need to have certain rules. You know, maybe religion, maybe background, maybe, you know, they, they care about these things. Where do your st children study? What's your job? Are you, for example, a doctor? Are you a businessman? Are you, what are, what do you do? Do you understand? It's a very exclusive yeah. and it's a very elite club. Only rich people can go there. And there are many activities there. Are, you know, lunches, dinners, there's golf. Uh, but this is not for young people. Usually this is for old people, gentlemen, rich uh, rich ladies, widows, maybe. That kind of thing. You get the idea. So in, in abroad, in general, being a member of a club means you have responsibilities, especially if it's a... Uh, especially if it's some kind of art club or theater club. It means every one month or every two months, there's a new play. You have to write a play, you have to act in a play. Maybe you have to uh, write a new piece of music. There are always activities. You have to produce something. You have to do something. But here in, in Libya, I think most clubs, when I saw them, you just spend time, just have a little bit of fun and you leave. You come wherever you want, you leave wherever you want. You don't really pay anything. You don't have to produce anything. Do you get the idea? Yeah. So I think like Sana said, uh, being a member of a club, especially if it's abroad, it means maybe it's a commitment. Do you know the word mm. commitment? Commit what does this word it's mean? Yes, it's So it's a commitment. You have to spend time, you have to do things. Anyway, so this is just a uh, block, a block, a or a block. There is another word for iltizam, a uh, or I don't know the the pronunciation of this uh... obligation. Uh, maybe yes. Okay. Yeah, and the verb is obligate, but they mm -hmm. don't they don't use it a lot as a verb. They use it mm. more as a noun. It's an obligation. <laughs> it's something yeah. you need. You need to do. You have to do. Or yeah. if you, because if you're absent more than once, or if you're a lazy member, they will uh, delete or they will cancel your membership. They'll tell you, "Sorry, we don't need mm -hmm. you. Bye bye. You'll find another mm -hmm. club." So this is what yeah. will happen in the West. So it's not easy, I think. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to listen to four friends. We have Sally, uh, Eric. Alice and Peter. So we have four friends and <coughs> they're going to tell us a little bit about um, the, the, the clubs that they, uh, they join or the clubs that they, they're, they're members in. All right, so we're going to listen to them and uh, let's answer the first part of the question. But, uh, oops, okay. So it says here, uh, put these clubs in the order they talk about them. What do people do in each club? So first of all, let's let's mark the first question. So this is what we want to do now. So can you see the four clubs? We have a book club, an animation club, a glee club, and a drama club. So these four friends, they're going to talk about these clubs. The first part of the question is, we just want to put them in order. That's all. All right. Uh, sorry, teacher. Sorry, doctor. Yeah. Uh, I uh, a glee club. What's the meaning? Yeah, mm. we'll find out now. Uh, in, the, ah, in, the, okay. in the listening, you'll find out what a glee club is. Okay. <clears throat> and even an, an animation club. Animation. The same thing. Yeah. You'll okay. also you'll also see in the listening. Okay. So okay. let's listen and let's find out what are these the clubs? What do people do in these clubs? And we can also see the order they talk about them. So let's start. Let's check this track. Oh, sorry I'm late. Did you get my text? Hi, Sally. Yes, I've ordered you the vegetarian pizza. Great, thanks a lot. Were you working late? 
No, I go to a drama club on Mondays. I didn't know you've joined a drama club. I only joined a few weeks ago, but I'm really enjoying it. So, what do you do exactly? Well, first we choose a play, then three months later we put it on at the local theatre. We don't get paid or anything, it's just for fun. And what play are you working on at the moment? It's a comedy called The Best Years of Our Lives. It's very funny. I play a confused old lady who's fed up with her husband. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to come and see you on stage. Yeah, me too. Mm, I'm not sure about that. I'd feel very nervous if I knew you were all watching me. Anyway, how's your book club going, Eric? Oh, it's going very well, thanks. So, what do you do in your book club? Well, every month someone chooses a book and we all read it. Then we meet up a month later at someone's house and talk about what we thought of the book. With lots of food and drink, probably. <laughs> yes, of course. That's the best bit. <laughs> do you always read the books? Yes. Well, I try to, but I don't always finish them. Sometimes I just read the last page to see what happened in the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, my brother runs an animation club, which is quite interesting. What's that about? It's for people who like making animated films. You know, short cartoons, things you might see on YouTube. Are you a member? No, but I've been to a couple of meetings. They're great fun. People watch each other's films and then talk about how they made them. You're interested in that sort of thing, aren't you, Eric? Yes. I do some animation on my laptop. Maybe I should go sometime. Sure. I'll let you know when the next meeting is. Great. Thanks. Well, I've just joined a glee club. Uh, what's a glee club? Basically, it's a club for people who like singing and dancing. We choose some songs and then learn the words and dance steps. And at the end of the year, we're going to put on a performance for charity. Oh, are you any good? Well, I'm not the best dancer in the world. They always put me near the back. Oh. <laughs> well, go on. Give us a song, then. No, I couldn't sing here. I'd be too embarrassed. Oh, look, here comes the food. That was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So, uh, let's answer the, the easy part of the question first, OK? Mm -hmm. What was the order that you... Uh, one uh, drama. Drama. OK. The book. Book, uh, book club. Book club. And animation. And, 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 and the last yeah. one is a glee club. Right. OK, that's the, the easy part of the question. But what's an animation club? What do they do? And what's a glee club? Um, a glee club, uh, singing and dancing. Mm -hmm. Correct. And um, performances, uh, emotions or uh, something. Yeah, yeah you, you make a performance. You dance and you sing. Making animation club. But what about animation club? Cartoons. 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 Correct. Something like cartoons, yeah. Yeah, animation means like cartoons. You draw it and you make it you make it move like a cartoon. So yes. you make uh, an animation movie, like for example, Toy Story. Do you know Toy Story? I think everybody knows the, yeah. the film. This is an example of animation using computers, computer animation, yeah. like yeah. Toy Story. All right. Okay. So uh, we answered both parts of the question. Very nice. Now. Let's check if you can remember from the from the CD. Let's do this part. So it says here, listen again, tick the true sentences and correct the false ones. Mm. Okay. So number one, Sally's new play is a comedy. It's not a musical, it's a comedy. Mm -hmm. Her character mm -hmm. in the play is an angry old lady. Can you remember? I can't remember, no. no. Can anyone remember? Maybe Najat has her? No. No. <laughs> okay. I think uh, for fun. Mm. What about Eric's book club? How often do they meet? Is it once a week? Um, not angry, I think. Not angry? No, it's not. Uh, her uh, husband. Mm. What about her husband? So you think it's false? Mm -hmm. mm, what do you think, Najat? Do you think it's false, number two? You have to repeat. 
Yeah, I, 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 I am going to repeat it, but I'm just, I'm just seeing how much you remembered from it, because it was a long chat. That's why, and lots of people talking it's about uh, about an, uh, a lady, but uh, that's okay. the problem. Her husband. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Eric's book, uh, book club. How often do they meet? Can you remember how often? Is it once a week? Uh, maybe uh, every week, uh, one book, I think. No, That's maybe one, they meet in one month, um, once a month. Once a month, not once a week. Mm. Mm. Okay, I so, think so let's leave it false and then we can confirm. Mm. 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 Number four, he doesn't always finish reading every book. Yes, yes, yes. because, because he the just end. lost uh, the, the page and yeah. uh, read the end. Yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's a cheater, he's a liar. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now, number five. Peter runs an animation club. No, he doesn't. His brother maybe runs. Mm, okay. Mm, mm. Eric, yeah, his brother. Eric might go to an animation club meeting. Yes, it's uh, true. Mm. Okay. Alice yeah. is better at dancing than singing. No. 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 She's better at singing. She, uh, yeah. At the singing. They put her at the back, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. She's too embarrassed to sing in the restaurant. Yes. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, you, Najat thinks it's yes. Okay, let's confirm yeah, this. Maybe true. Let's listen again to confirm, okay? Yes. Let's check. Mm -hmm. So let's listen again. Oops. All right, so we're doing the second part. Let's put it in a little box. And let's listen. Track four. Oh, sorry I'm late. Did you get my text? Hi, Sally. Yes, I've ordered you the vegetarian pizza. Great, thanks a lot. Were you working late? No, I go to a drama club on Mondays. I didn't know you've joined a drama club. I only joined a few weeks ago, but I'm really enjoying it. So, what do you do exactly? Well, first we choose a play, then three months later we put it on at the local theatre. We don't get paid or anything, it's just for fun. And what play are you working on at the moment? It's a comedy called The Best Years of Our Lives. It's very funny. I play a confused old lady who's fed up with her husband. <laughs> Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to come and see you on stage. Yeah, me too. Mm, I'm not sure about that. I'd feel very nervous if I knew you were all watching me. Anyway, how's your book club going, Eric? Oh, it's going very well, thanks. So, what do you do in your book club? Well, every month someone chooses a book and we all read it. Then we meet up a month later at someone's house and talk about what we thought of the book. With lots of food and drink, probably. <laughs> yes, of course. That's the best bit. <laughs> Do you always read the books? Yes. Well, I try to, but I don't always finish them. Sometimes I just read the last page to see what happened in the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, my brother runs an animation club, which is quite interesting. What's that about? It's for people who like making animated films. You know, short cartoons, things you might see on YouTube. Are you a member? No, but I've been to a couple of meetings. They're great fun. People watch each other's films and then talk about how they made them. You're interested in that sort of thing, aren't you, Eric? Yes. I do some animation on my laptop. Maybe I should go sometime. Sure. I'll let you know when the next meeting is. Great. Thanks. Well, I've just joined a glee club. Uh, what's a glee club? Basically, it's a club for people who like singing and dancing. We choose some songs and then learn the words and dance steps. And at the end of the year, we're going to put on a performance for charity. Oh, are you any good? Well, I'm OK at singing, but I'm not the best dancer in the world. They always put me near the back. Oh. <laughs> well, go on. Give us a song, then. No, I couldn't sing here. I'd be too embarrassed. Oh, look, here comes the food. That was lucky. <laughs> Mm, okay, so this means all of your answers are correct, right? Yes. 
Yeah, so that's great. So all of the answers are correct. From the first time you heard it, you heard the track, you listened to the track, but uh, it's not an angry old lady. What is it? it? Uh, yeah, it's um, confused. Old uh, lady, confused. Confused, right? Yeah. She, she, she plays confused. And a confused. Right. A confused uh, old lady, yeah. Correct. And it's not once a week, it's once a month. month. Right. And it's not Peter, it's Peter's mm, brother. Uh, brother. Brother. Correct, correct. And Alice is not better at dancing, she's better at singing. 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 Yeah. Correct. And the last one is correct. Yeah. All right, very nice. So all of these are correct. Great. All right, so it says here, compare the answers. Would you like to join any of these clubs? Hmm. Who would like to join any of these clubs? A book club, maybe? A book club. A book club yes, for Hajar? A book club. Oh, yeah. Malak, Najat. Mm -hmm. mm. What about Sana? Would you like to join a club? Any of these clubs? Sana is not there. Okay, any other club? Not other than the, the book club? Uh, I hear, Dr. <laughs> just I forget to... Okay. For uh, me, an animation club, I think it's uh, good. Uh, Maybe, yeah. With... You, you, would like to, you would like to try an animation club? Yes. Do you like drawing and animation? Do you like drawing cartoons? I, I don't well? like drawing, but sometimes I like... Uh, uh, Cartoon, maybe mm. I can do something for this. No. No. Okay. But maybe I want to try just to try. I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Who would like to join a drama club? Nobody. No. 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 I think a, a drama club is is very interesting. I would like to join a, a drama club. Because you can act and you can have fun, you can play different characters. So I think it's a it's a good life skill to be able to play different characters. Yeah. Uh, all right. So um, so here, this is an example of a uh, of uh, school clubs or university clubs. So mm -hmm. in in next in the next exercise here, number uh, three. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about sentence stress. All right. Mm -hmm. So we talked, I think we talked before about uh, word stress yeah. and mm -hmm. sentence stress. So here it says, read and listen to the beginning of the conversation. Notice which words are stressed. So let's take a look. Let's see which words are stressed and which words are not stressed. So let's start, let's start with, the, with the stressed words first. So here we have, sorry. We have late, we have get, get, and text. Why do you think these words are stressed? And what kind of words are they? Maybe because it is short, the words. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't um, hear the question. The question is, why are these words stressed? And what kind of words are they? Are they adjectives? Are they adverbs? Are they prepositions, nouns? What kind of words are they? Let's, let's forget no. about, sorry, let's, what about late? What kind of word is late? Late adjective. Uh, okay, late, uh, correct. Um, it's an adjective. There. Get uh, is a verb. Text. Verb. Text. Is text. A noun. Uh, no. Noun. No. Mm. Okay. So hi is a greeting. Sally is a noun. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's an answer of the yes no question because uh, Sally she said, "Did you get my text?" This is a yes no mm. question. This is the answer. Then we have ordered. It's a verb. Vegetarian. It's an adjective. Pizza, it's a noun. Noun. So it's, it looks like we stress nouns, we stress verbs, and we stress adjectives, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
And we also, it looks like we're also, we also stress the answers to yes, no questions. So, what, okay, let's continue. Great. So it's an adjective, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then yeah. we have thanks. Thanks. A lot. So what's thanks a lot? I don't know what it is, to be honest, but I think it's a noun. Thanks and a lot. Lot is an adjective mm. because thank is one. Thanks, plural. Okay, where are you working? Late. So working is a verb or a gerund ing. Late. Adjective is, is an adjective. No is the answer to the question because it's a yes no question. Where are you working late? No. Go there. Go there. there. Drama. Noun. Noun. Club. Noun. Noun. Mondays. Noun. Noun. Okay. Then we have I didn't. This is a, a negative. Yeah. A negative auxiliary, right? It's a negative yeah. auxiliary. No is the verb. Verb, yeah. And joined is another verb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Noun and noun. Noun, noun. Mm. Okay, so now we found all the words. What about the words which are not stressed? What do you notice? What What are the words we didn't stress? The pronoun. Uh, auxiliaries and yes. art articles. Auxiliaries, correct. Articles. Pronouns. Pronouns. Mm. We did. We didn't. We didn't stress any of them. We did. Mm. We did stress the auxiliary, but only in the negative, right? I didn't. Mm. Mm. But did. I didn't, yeah. Did you? It's not stressed, right? And the same thing here in mm -hmm. the in the question. Were you? It's not stressed. Just a negative. Only a negative. You've. It's not stressed. I. Not stressed. And article A. Not stressed. Also two preposition. Can you see it? Two. Two a drama club. One. Like, preposition. So preposition is not and on. Also, not stressed, A, not stressed. But let's let's listen just to the beginning of the conversation. Let's see how let's see how they they say the, the stressed words and how they say the the words which are not stressed. We want to see the difference, how they, they say it, how native says it. So let's mm -hmm. just let's listen to this. Track four. Oh, sorry I'm late. Did you get my text? Hi, Sally. Yes, I've ordered you the vegetarian pizza. Great, thanks a lot. Were you working late? No, I go to a drama club on Mondays. I didn't know you've joined a drama club. Did you see it? Mm. So this means the, the words which are not stressed, they say them very quickly, right? They don't yeah. say, they don't say, yes. did you get my... That's not what she said. She said... Did you get my text? Get my text. My, get and text are clear. But mm. did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Mm. Did you get my text? So they're not, they're really fast. Okay, so let's answer the question now. So it says find examples of uh, or these parts of speech in the conversation. Are they stressed or not? So we did this part, we found all of them, but now the ones which we found were stressed, let's write S, and the ones that we found that are not stressed, let's use N. So the adjectives, the adjectives were stressed. What about the pronouns? Stressed or not stressed? Not, not, stressed. not, not, stressed. not stressed. Correct. The positive auxiliaries? Not stressed. Not stressed. Correct. The main verbs? Stressed. Stressed. Correct. The nouns? Stressed. Stressed. Right. The articles? Not stressed. Not stressed. Not stressed. The prepositions? Not stressed. Not stressed. The negative auxiliaries? Stressed. Stressed. Correct. But the question, my question is, why are negative auxiliaries stressed and uh, positive auxiliaries not stressed? Why do you think? Uh, maybe uh, because uh, uh, positive uh, is uh, mm, uh, contrast. Mm. Positive, because. Uh, 
because short form um, because uh, is it important uh, short uh, form mm. no uh, but uh, by the way uh, malak if if the if the auxiliary is in the short form uh, for example here مثلا لو بيتر جاوب سالي بد ما يقولها yes i've ordered لو لو قالها yes i did did هتكون مش هتكون stressed yes i did right but but in the question it's not mm. and uh, there's another auxiliary here for example uh, i'm i'm is is not it's not stressed mm. right here can you see yeah. it i'm yes. late yeah. i'm late I'm late. Late is clear, but I'm is not clear. It's I'm late. So the same thing with I've ordered. I've ordered you the vegetarian pizza. I've ordered mm -hmm. you the vegetarian pizza. I've I've ordered. So it's not stressed. Yes. But the negative is stressed. Najat, you said something. What did you maybe, say? Uh -huh. Maybe in Arab, but I don't know. Maybe here, we have to show that I didn't do it or I didn't do it. I mean, it's a negative thing. We have to show it. It's like when you start something. It's important. That's usually right. Yes, this is the idea. Because in a negative, you need to emphasize the difference. Yes. Mm. You need to, to, so the listener has no confusion. So the listener knows exactly what you say. So it needs to be emphasized. I didn't know. Because if you say, no, the, maybe the listener doesn't know if you said didn't or did. Do you get the idea? Mm -hmm. So it needs to be, mm. it needs to be emphasized to show the difference between it and the, the positive. Mm. All right. So this is one of the reasons. All right. So this is just, uh, you know, it's just a point you need to keep in mind that mm -hmm. in English, not everything is stressed. Usually only the important parts of the sentence where there is meaning, these are stressed. But auxiliaries, prepositions, pronouns, you know, they're not, they're not stressed usually. All right, so here in our next part, we have a very interesting article. I think uh, this is similar to, I think Najat, you like this article very much. But it says here, look at the photos and the headline of the article. What do you think the article is about? Can you see? What do you think the article is about? What about? Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, my concern. <laughs> yeah, this is your, your field of expertise, yes. Yes. So what is it about? What do you think? Love, laughter. It's about laughter, but in mm -hmm. in what way is it about laughter? In a medicine way. In, in a medical way? Yeah. But but Maybe. how? How in a medical way? Maybe by uh... like in the picture, um, do some uh... Activities. Maybe the physical so feel uh, fine. Med medical love. use that. You, you know, Hapano Pono and some Fioga and some. Mm -hmm. I forget uh, yeah. this uh, movement. To make the patient relax. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So maybe to make yeah. patients relax. They teach them mm -hmm. how to laugh, maybe. Mm hmm. Mm, okay, these are good guesses. Maybe by music. <laughs> Maybe it's related to music. Mm, okay, okay. All right, so we're going to read about this. But before we read about this article, there are a few words we need to... Maybe a few words we need to check first. So the first word is reduce. Mm -hmm. Then we have clap your hands. Then we have strengthen your immune system, fake chemicals. Okay. Um, do you know what, ah. what this means, all of these words? I know, reduce the uh, opposite of increase, yes? Correct. Reduce. Yes. Um, strengthen uh, your immune yeah. 
system. That's the yeah, I'm, I'm forced. I'm forced. In English, who can who can explain this in English? I'm Najat? Sorry, please. Can, can you explain what immune system is in English and, and what it means to if, strengthen? Uh, nowadays, have a corona, you have to do a sport and drink a lot of water and vitamin C. This is all strength. Ah, okay, yeah. Mm. Okay, so, okay, so so Malak, what's what's immune system in Arabic, Malak? Uh, yeah, correct, correct. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the meaning of strengthen your immune system. It means strengthen. Strengthen is the verb of strong. Mm. Strong is the adjective. Strengthen is the verb. Strength is the noun. Strength, strengthen, strong. Okay. They're related to each other. Where I think strong is the, the popular one. Is the, everybody knows the word I strong. Enforce is, a, enforce is another word that has the same meaning. Enforce. Most of articles about the corona enforced. Most. Yeah, correct. Enforce. Mm. Yeah, it means to make it stronger. Correct. Yeah. All right. So these are some of the words. Now let me take you to the article so you can read a little bit about it. And after you read it, we want to match these headlines. Let Let me show you the headlines first before you read. Mm -hmm. Can you Can you see these five headlines? Yes. Yes. So the first one, A, it says, it worked for me. Try it yourself. And B, it says, why laughter is good for you. C, start the day with a laugh. D, my first visit to a laughter club. E, how laughter clubs began. All right. So these are, mm -hmm. these are the headlines. Or We have to guess them. No, no, you have to read. After you read, you can decide. So you need to read first. So when you finish, when you finish the, th the first three paragraphs, just, just tell me and I'll move down. I'll scroll down, okay? okay? So you can start. Start from here. Uh, I just finished the third paragraph. All right. Me too. Okay. Have you finished the, the second one? No, second no? one, no. Okay.
The fourth one. Mm -hmm. I didn't finish yet the second paragraph. You didn't? Yeah. I, I think you're reading too slowly, man. Yes, that uh, that uh, yeah. Also, the makab al akhir. Um, okay. Can I move uh, to the back? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, just a second. I'll be back. Okay. Anybody finished? Yeah, I finished already. Last paragraph, just mm -hmm. a minute.
Okay, I'm finished. All right. Sana, have you finished? Uh, not yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you win the first place, first prize tonight. Mm -hmm. For the slowest reader. Have you finished? Okay. Okay. All right. Now, uh, is, does anybody here uh, want to do the IELTS test in the future? Yeah. Yeah. I will. yeah. If, even me. Sana. Sana, if yes. you're going, if you're going to continue reading this way, you'll never pass mm. the reading exam. Possibly. Yes, but uh, I have problem because. Um, I uh, I back to the my phone to see the book because uh, I want to see the the question in the beginning to match the paragraph. That's why I uh, took time. Ah, okay. So you're maybe doing... I maybe the first time I used the book by mobile, not uh, in front of me. That's why. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I well, think it's, it's better to use the book from Zoom. Use, use your PDF, not in the lesson, because it will be confusing if you're opening the, the book and then you're opening Zoom and do you get the idea? No, yeah. not in my uh, computer. I, uh, I, I opened Zoom in my computer, but the book in my phone, uh, uh, but I still have problem. I see the paragraph after that, I back to the cushion. This is, uh, <laughs> I feel like confused or something like that. Yeah. Because the first time I don't uh, use to before. I see. No problem. Okay. If that's the, if that's the reason, that's okay. If you have uh, idea about uh, to focus this problem because even when I study or I yes I uh, uh, revision uh, the last uh, lesson I focus even this problem <laughs> because I don't know don't, I don't worry manage I'll... how to study in my phone this is yeah. the problem don't worry I'll, I'll give you a few tips later I'll send them to you in your in the inbox uh, they'll okay. help you don't don't worry about that Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's let's try to match the first paragraph. This one. Which which heading do you think is the best? Five. No, no. Here, num this paragraph. Can you see the first paragraph? I think. Yes. Yeah. Which which? Ah, which? yes. D C. Start a day with a laugh. Correct. A. Yeah. Start a day with the laugh. Mm -hmm. So for number for C paragraph one. Correct. Let's write paragraph mm -hmm. one. Correct. Okay. What about paragraph two? This one, the one about uh, the e. history. How laughter clubs began. Um, e. Yes. Correct. E. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How laughter mm -hmm. club began. Correct. Okay. okay. Let's check paragraph three. Many uh, doctors. B. Blah blah blah. Da, 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 immune system. Uh, B. B. Is good for you. Yes. Exactly. Why laughter is good for you, the medical mm -hmm. medical reasons. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's see paragraph four. My first visit to laughter club. Yes. Here it's the the history of yeah, yeah the yeah. first visit. Correct. So my first visit, very good. This is number four. And this means the last one. Why try it yourself? Yeah. It All right. Works. So what do you think of this article? Very interesting, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. make me laugh. Yeah. All right. So so this this article <laughs> more of, than the money. 
So. Yeah, more than money. Yeah, very interesting information. <laughs> so, so we'll start here next time. We'll read this again, of course. And I also advise you to to check it again, and maybe even search Google. You know, learn a little bit about this. To take a look, research this doctor. Yeah, it's interesting. It's a very interesting oh. topic. And yeah. in our next lesson, we'll talk more about this. We'll answer questions, maybe do a little bit of vocab, and uh, we'll talk a little more about this, and we'll see what the blue words mean here. Yes. All right. So uh, thank you for your time. I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Did I send everybody the, the book? I think, Malak, I sent you the, the workbook. Yeah. Malak and Najad. Uh, yeah. Hajir? Um, Hajir no. Sana? No? Hajir yes, Sana? for me, I received uh, both of them. All ah, right. So, no, so for only me, no. Okay, so I'll okay. send it now. I'll send okay. it to you now. You, uh, try uh, starting with the workbook. I highly advise you work on start uh, with the workbook. Very, very good. It's very helpful. Okay. okay. But uh, I, I told you, before I have a problem with, uh, I don't know how to manage uh, the book uh, mm -hmm. from my phone. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll tell you how to do it. It's, it's quite easy to, to use okay. it. Yeah, okay. don't worry about it. Okay, so... Victor, next time, uh, please give us some tips, quick tips to read uh, quickly. Ah, okay. It's a big topic. Oh, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll, <laughs> Every listen give us a tip. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it. I'll also send you a video from my IELTS preparation course where I was talking to the students about the, the, the issue of, of reading and how mm -hmm. you could read faster and why you have to read faster if you want to take an exam like IELTS because the times mm -hmm. you cannot read. Uh, uh, I already read it fast, quick, but without concentration. <laughs> this is this is the trick. You shouldn't concentrate. Yeah. <laughs> Just read quickly. That's all. Yeah. You don't need to concentrate. <laughs> okay, so I'll tell you a little more about that next time, and Hajar, I'll okay. send you the the workbook. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Thank, Thank you, you, doctor. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome. You, you're welcome. I'll good see night. you next time. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. 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 -bye.